Hello everybody, my name is Jesse. Welcome back to the channel. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys never miss a new upload. Now today I'm going to be showing you guys how to downgrade iOS 9.3.5 to iOS 8.4.1 without the need of iTunes or a PC really. So I'm not plugged in, no trickery here, not plugged in. My cord is down there somewhere. Alright, so I want to show you guys that I am on the latest 9.3.5. Just go over here and you should check for an update. 9.3.5 all right so you do need files of file manager from Cydia so just go ahead and search for that and download it you don't need to add any sources or anything all right so once you have files you're going to go ahead and open it okay you're going to open up files up and you go all the way to the backslash okay and you just go straight to backslash right here you have to be on this uh part like me so you're going to go to system library go find core services and you go all the way to the bottom till you find it system version .plus. You click on it and you go ahead and tap on root. Then you go ahead and change two things. Only two, you need to change the product version number and you're going to change the product build version. Now what you're going to go ahead and do is go to ipsw.me and you're going to go ahead and go all the way to the bottom till you see iOS 6.0. And all you're going to do is copy the build number, which is 10A406. Okay, so what we're going to go ahead and do is change the product version to 6.0. Okay, 6.0, 6.0. Make sure I have that right for a minute. Then you click on back, and then you go to the product version number. You go ahead and click on the eye icon, and you go ahead and change it to 10A406. So 10A406. Go ahead and click 10 a 406 now if you mess up you will have to restore your device to factory settings as you will not be able to mess with this as soon as you mess up and click save and yeah that, that'll be all bad from there click on back click on save and now what we're gonna go ahead and do is turn off our device and turn it back on I'll go ahead and speed this part up for you guys As you see, we are now back on the main screen. Um, so what we're gonna go ahead and do now is go to settings, general, and software update, and you should get an update prompt uh, telling you to update to iOS 8.4.1. Just as so, just click on download and install. Actually, no. Cancel that real quick. Um, what you're gonna go ahead and do is go to that, all the way back to the normal settings. And what you're gonna go ahead and do is go into your iCloud and you go ahead and sign out of iCloud. If you do not do this, you will not be able to update your device. Okay, so I am back. As you can see, I am signed out of my iCloud account. So we should be able to update no problem. All right, this should take about five to six minutes depending on your uh, internet connection. So I'll go ahead and speed this part up again. Okay, now that we're on the setup screen for iOS 8.4.1, all you gotta do is simple, set it up. So we're gonna click on continue. We're gonna go ahead and log into our Wi-Fi network. Once you're done with that, it'll take you to the next screen. And that's that. Uh, spotlight has been moved. Okay, we are on iOS 8.4.1.
just so you can tell by the new stand that no longer exists. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys did, drop a like, comment, and I will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace out.